fix your life by training yourself to be what I like to call a soft planner. So many people consider themselves to be analytical thinkers, deep thinkers. You know, my background is mathematics, so mathematics requires deep thinking. And so when you are a deep thinker, you tend to overthink everything. And that overthinking sometimes leads to over planning. I've known plenty of smart people who over plan. They put everything into a spreadsheet. Their entire life is a plan and they must follow that plan. And if they don't, they lose a sense of control and that works for them. They have lives, they're happy. But I think if this describes you, this video can help you level up just a little bit. It can help you stop being an over planner and becoming what I like to call a soft planner. So soft planting, planning, not planting, planning, is the idea where you still have plans, but right? you still make those plans. So you say, okay, my plan is to go to college and get a degree. And when I'm done, I'm going to try to get this job. And that's the job I'm going to get. That, that's a planner. A soft planner does the same thing, but gives themselves a couple of backup options. They're not so rigid in their planning. And when you can learn to be a little bit more flexible with your planning, I call the soft planning, that does a bunch of stuff for you, right? A bunch of stuff. So for one, it takes the stress off. You know, if you're an over planner and you have a plan and you make this plan, you have to stick to your plan. And when the plan falls apart, you feel like you've lost control and you're like, oh no, I've lost control. What am I gonna do? Right, what am I gonna do? I've lost control. What will I do? But when you're a soft planner, you have options. Right, you realize that when your plans break, let me make sure I don't get lost here. When your plans break, you can, yeah, time to go back. You can adapt. Yeah, I think I hit the end of the trail. So I don't want to walk too far here today. I didn't bring water. So that's the first thing it does for you, soft planning. The second thing it does, which is even more important than taking the stress off, and this is something that I don't think is discussed, is that it makes you limitless. It makes you invincible. You see, one of the problems with planning things is that you're setting a, a cap on your potential. You're saying, this is what I'm going to do today, and this is what's gonna get done, and this is, this is my goal, and so that's it. A soft planner has plans, and the flexibility allows them to go above and beyond if they choose to. You know, so if you plan to work for two hours today, that's your plan, you'll work for two hours and you're done if you're a rigid planner, but if you're a soft planner, you might work more if you're feeling creative, if you're feeling motivated. So it makes you limitless, it makes you more powerful, and it lets you accomplish things 
that an over planner or a rigid planner would not be able to do simply because they've set these limits on themselves because they have to stick to the schedule, right? And if you're listening to this and you're thinking, well, no, I have to stick to the schedule, that's fine, you can keep doing that. I'm not saying you should take my advice. I'm just giving you my thoughts. You know, you don't have to agree. Um, it's fine if you disagree. And I just wanted to share these thoughts with you here on this beautiful day, which I, di I didn't bring water because my water bottle leaks. And, and it didn't leak when I bought it. But I bought a new one on Amazon. And it'll be a couple days before it's here. So I'm out in the woods with no water. So I have to make sure that I don't go too far. An over planner <laughs> would have perhaps stopped at the gas station and gotten a water bottle. And I could have done that. I just didn't want to carry it. Right? And I didn't want to bring a backpack. I just, I wanted to be free. I wanted to just walk with my camera in the woods and talk about soft planning. So the key takeaway is planning is important. You should plan, but don't over plan and be flexible in your plans, be able to adapt. And this is a mindset that is very important. You know, if you look at the, you know, key traits and behaviors of the most successful people in the world, being able to adapt to change is important because change, the one thing that's constant in this world is change. Like that's the one thing that is constant. That's the one thing that you will always have, right? Change is constant. It's always gonna happen no matter what. It's something that will always be a part of life every time. Soft planning, be a soft planner, become limitless, relieve stress, become a better version of yourself. I'm gonna take a sun break here because it's cold today and the sun feels so good. I'm gonna sit on this, on this log here for a moment. I think I've walked over two miles today and so I soft planned this trip. You know, I decided that I would come out here and just walk. Something got on my leg. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't sit. Become a soft planner, my friends. Stay strong.